Subscribe to Breakthrough Gaming and get your chance to win a copy, limited copy, Last of Us 2, which I'm not in. <laughs> Uh -huh. Hello, man. Here you go, buddy. I appreciate you. Thank, Thank you. you. Thanks so much. Thank you. Keep watching. Look, I'll be the first to say this. If Naughty Dog does a good job at containing these spoilers and all the leaked gameplay that is coming out on the internet right now, then we don't have anything to worry about. If Naughty Dog does not do a good job at keeping the spoilers away from the fans, then we are off to a very, very sad 2020. And we're back. Welcome, everyone. I'm your host, Breakthrough Gaming. In today's Last of Us Part 2 video, we're going to be discussing all the gameplay that has been leaked to the internet. I mean, for those of you that do know, just a few weeks ago, we had gameplay leaked to the masses all over Instagram, all over YouTube. A lot of channels were terminated. A lot of videos were taken down, including mine's. <laughs> Let me say that one more time. Sony actually confused one of my videos talking about the leak with the leak itself. I had two copyright strikes. Thank God I managed to get rid of it because it was a false copyright strike. But at the end of the day, this is how hard Naughty Dog is going in terms of any potential leaked information on The Last of Us Part 2. Now, I'll be the first one to admit this. They're doing a pretty good job so far, and I'm not really stressing this game being spoiled to me for the simple fact that if I really want to find out something, I'm going to do the research on my own, regardless whether someone spoils it or doesn't spoil it. I'm not the type to continuously be ruining these moments for me, especially in a game that I've been waiting and making videos on for years. So I'm not too worried about that. What I will say is that Naughty Dog has a very tough challenge to face and to find a solution to. If The Last of Us Part 2 gets delayed one more time, a lot of people are going to inevitably, and I'll be the first one to say it, this doesn't apply to me, I'm going to get the game either way, but I can't speak the same for all gamers in general. Naughty Dog has already taken their sweet time to such an extent with The Last of Us Part 2 that if they were to delay it another year, I can't guarantee that us fans would stay just as motivated. As a matter of fact, a lot of people are messaging me and they're unsubscribing from the channel for the simple fact that it's been far too long. You know, here I am making videos on a game for four years straight and the game is still not out. I mean, that's kind of impressive, but nevertheless, it's boring as hell to have so many videos and we're still waiting for the game. <laughs> the point I'm trying to make is that people are fed up, people are impatient, and the sad truth is that no matter what they decide to do with The Last of Us Part 2, they can't release it while this virus is happening because if they were to release it while this pandemic is happening, a game about a pandemic pandemic, that would be suicide, that would be this marketing suicide, that would be sales suicide, that would not be too good. Naughty Dog has one of two options, either they risk this game's hype going down and waiting and waiting and waiting until The Last of Us Part 2 is ready to be released once this pandemic is over. But then again, we don't know how long this pandemic is gonna take. So this may be a very huge risk for Naughty Dog. If they wait it out any longer, they're gonna keep the fans losing hope and getting more and more disappointed. So they may have to swing a random move, take a YOLO route, and release this game a lot sooner than what we're expecting. Because at this point, I cannot guarantee the safety of The Last of Us Part 2.